to live with my parents. If I talk to my mom, it's not really about much, usually small talk. And then if she's on her phone, or I try to stay away as much as I can. I decided to join the Air Force to be away from my parents. I live in the same house and my phone has never been affected by it. I'm a little skeptical of the severity of not only the hack, but the nature of it. I've seen a lot of it for a long time. It's just random pictures of numbers and Google searches and coding their names on different parts of the internet. So it's just, I don't know if you want to call it evidence or just my mom's evidence. I feel like it's like either spam or junk. I think possibly it is them being bad at technology. Well, Marla says that her mom is so fixated on being hacked that she's only seen her eight-month-old daughter twice. Take a look. My mom lives on the edge. She's obsessed. Every day, it's something different about her phone, and all she talks about is her phone. My mom's probably had over 40 phone numbers. For the past year, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six phone numbers in here for her. Mom new, mom old, mom, mom again, and then mom temporary. I don't think there's somebody personally attacking my mother. She showed me three photos on her phone. The angle of the photos look like they're coming from the stove. We thought her house was haunted for a while. I think that she went onto a website and she got a virus and the virus has stayed with her. A few years ago, my mom started taking surveys online and she would get free stuff. You have to put a lot of personal information. You have to put your income, where you live, even your daily routine. I believe that the surveys have been behind this whole hacking. The hacking isn't the first thing my mom's been obsessed with. My mom's been obsessed with Pinterest, weight loss, the exercising. I want answers just for my mom's sake. Me and my brother want my mom to be normal again. Okay, I'm glad you guys are here. This has really affected this, the whole family, right? Yes. And you say you have an eight-month-old? I do. Well, congratulations. Thank you. And uh, girl or boy? She's a girl. Uh-huh. Uh, but you say that your mother's only seen her twice in eight months? Twice in eight months. Do She's, you live, like, on another planet? I live planet? two hours, but mm -hmm. um, they have weekends off. Sometimes she has Fridays off, so she mm -hmm. could come. My stepdad actually has come a little bit more to uh -huh. visit but um but you think she's pretty consumed with this she's very consumed okay and what do you think is going on you say you've never experienced it and you're in the house right but you use the routers and everything that's in the house how are you not hacked i actually don't really use the wi-fi that much like i just use my phone because i don't even want to mess with it do you tend to get obsessed with things I have been obsessed with the internet because it affects me every single well, but day. But I mean, if you've been, a, do, do you have, I mean, di different people have different personalities. Oh, yeah. Do you have the tendency to get pretty intensely involved with things? Yes, I, see, I, I try to follow through when I start something, yes. Does it cause you pause when I'm talking about that this hacking seems to be jumping modalities? Like a hacker is now hacked your microwave, your TV, the registers well, at Kohl's. It's it, it jumping down. It definitely causes concern. We have had possession of Stacy's current phone for the past 10 days. Because, thank you, by the way, uh, because we wanted to see just exactly what went on here. You're not going to believe what happened. Find out after the break. Moderate to severe eczema or atopic dermatitis. Unless I am physically threatened, there's nothing they can do. I actually turn it over to the Federal Trade Commission not once but twice. The tech experts normally tell us they've never seen anything like this. And they're going to try and help us. And they'll call the fraud squad. It never results in help. Most of the time, they tell us they're not familiar with what's on our phone. I'm kind of having a common sense alert here just common sense alert uh, because you got to step back and don't get bogged down